Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about a drawing technique that will help you have better accurate drawings. It's called the envelope and it is a series of diagonal lines, sometimes horizontal, sometimes vertical, but mostly they're diagonal lines that attempt to find the outermost contour of the subject you're trying to draw. And by using these lines, in addition to a few other technical uh, helpful bits, we'll also be using the grid, some diagrammatic lines, and the very important negative shapes. So the envelope is very simple. And um, so one of the things we try to do is we, uh, we squint our eyes as always, and we look at our subject, and uh, we try to find the outermost parts of the thing we are trying to draw. So the top, the bottom, the two sides. And well, let's begin here. So I typically start, and we'll use our cow photo here. We'll do a quick little sketch of this cow. It's very easy. Um, I'll take a look and I will try to find maybe the, um, the longest line. And in this case, it looks like it goes from the cow's tail to his head. And it's not quite a perfect horizontal. It has a slight diagonal to it. And I'm just going to loosely sketch that in there and try to get the pitch of that. Uh, as always, a diagrammatic line is a line that where we hold up our pencil and we replicate the pitch. And this one I can see, if this pencil is a uh, horizontal, it's pointing to nine o'clock. So this is slightly south of nine o'clock. That's how I see it on the car. So it's always good to check two or three times, okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, moving right along, the uh, rear of the cow is not quite perfectly horizontal. It's a slight tilt, slight diagonal. It's also important to keep in mind proportions. I can see that the length of the vertical line that defines the rear of the cow is not, it's just slightly shorter than the, uh, the top line that we just made, that's about right. And so what you'll do is you take a measurement, just as you would in nature, you take a measurement of uh, the height versus width, and draw it in accordingly. The bottom line, same thing. I, can, I observe that the bottom line is not quite perfect horizontal. It also has a slight tilt. So again, we're trying to find the top, the bottom, and the two sides. And it's not always a perfect envelope, is it? Does that look about right? There's something very humbling about measuring. Drawings never lie. You can tell you, typically in a short period of time and on how wonky it's going to be. But okay, here we have the envelope. So for all intents and purposes, this is our envelope, right? So our drawing will fit inside of this envelope. But our envelope isn't like the kind you mail. <laughs> this is the kind we're gonna to toss a cow in in this case, okay. So now the next thing to know is, um, is, uh, well, now that we have our left, right, our top, and our bottom, now the next thing to focus on is uh, negative shapes, right? So we squint our eyes and we see the negative shapes and observe how I have here in this graphic, how the negative shapes uh, clearly show these abstract puzzle shapes. And this one between, um, between his front legs, for example, to me that looks like the state of Vermont, right? Um, and so the more you can see these as abstract puzzle shapes, the more you are seeing with your right brain, the more you are seeing with the right abstract brain of the artist. So we're not drawing literal shapes. We're not drawing a cow. We are drawing abstract puzzle shapes that essentially make up the cow. So it's this combination of positive and negative shapes. Okay, so let's jump right in. Um, it's also helpful to draw a grid uh, if you are not confident with your drawing. So you just try to find the middle of, uh, 
of your envelope. That's about the middle there, huh? Nope, okay, slide this to the right, okay. Okay. Now using a combination of my grid, also known as diagrammatic line, and my envelope, I will try to carve out these negative shapes that define the rest of the cow, right? All this stuff. And um, as always, I, I, I will typically go to the uh, largest one first. And I can see that the shape underneath the cow's belly is uh, the largest shape. Let's see. So I will just begin to rough that and I can see that the cow's belly it goes is underneath this middle line here, right? It does something like that. And then this leg comes down there and These do something like that. And so what you're really trying to do is replicate the negative shape that you're seeing here, right? So essentially, by uh, finding all these negative shapes, <clears throat> eventually, in a perfect world, if you're doing this right, and all your, your measurements and your diagrammatic lines and your sensitivity to being able to accurately portray these negative shapes, you'll have what looks like a cow, ultimately. How about that? So, okay, we've arrived at this point. We have a uh, fairly accurate contour drawing of this cow. Um, there are many different ways to draw, and just having the envelope in your arsenal is just another way you can check for accuracy. There are many different ways to draw. Sight size, of course, using a combination of many of the things we've talked about in prior videos, diagrammatic lines, negative shapes, the unit, uh, measuring height versus width, the grid, <clears throat> so, the more you can expand your drawing toolbox, of course, the more accurate your drawings can be. Um, so, let's say we get to this point, and you now want to build the inside, right? So, you want to, uh, well, as we say, one of, the, one of the dictums we have in art is, we start with the broom and we finish with a needle. Well, in the context of this particular drawing, the broom, or the larger shapes, would certainly be the contour of the cow. And moving towards the needle, the smaller shapes, we would move into, say, the patchwork that makes up those dark shapes of the cow, right? So um, it's much easier to move into making the smaller shapes than it, than it is to start with the smaller shapes and then work out uh, to the larger ones. So by having the, our drawing, um, the large masses massed in, it makes it easier to find the smaller parts. So if you look in... Um, in the reference photo, you can see the grid, for example, and still with an eye on negative shapes, we'll, we'll just take one of the, um, the cow's patches, which is right about here. You can see that the top of that dark abstract puzzle shape, it starts right here where the middle vertical line of the grid touches the top of the cow. Do you see that? 
That's an important spot. Where are things touching? Where are they in proximity to your grid, your verticals, your horizontals, the outside contour lines of, in this case, our cow? And I can see that um, if you look at the negative shape, it makes a little letter L. You see that? There's a little L. And let's do a diagrammatic line. A diagrammatic line, if you remember, is just a way to check. So if I hold my tool up, you can see that if I hold my tool up at the bottom of this L and I draw a straight line across, you can see where it intersects in the cow's nose, right? And a diagrammatic line, we can draw them in just for accuracy so we can see that. Um, and that looks pretty good. Either his nose has to be a little bit longer <laughs> or I have to raise that up a little bit, but I think that looks pretty good. Um, okay, and so to build upon that, I can see that um, the pitch of this, by the way, if you think of it as a clock, and you're trying to replicate that pitch on this clock, if this is 12 o'clock, that would be about one o'clock, right? And so we simply hold our tool up and we replicate it on the canvas. So that's what we're trying to do. If you can tell time, you can tell the accurate pitch of, of a roof line, or in this case, the abstract puzzle shape that makes up the side of that cow. Um, it looks like the, uh, the, the, the pitch turns in a little bit right here, right? So it's not quite one o'clock. It's a little bit closer to 12, and it also goes below the horizon line here. I'm sorry, not the horizon line, but my middle line, right? You see that? Another thing I'm observing is the negative shape here. Look at this as we build this. I'm looking at this triangle-like shape. Look at that in the reference photo. You can see it. And so these are the tools we use, right? The grid or the diagrammatic line, the negative shape, height versus width, pitch. All of this stuff, if you take your time with it, equals just more accurate drawings. You know, for all of us, the goal isn't to have these stale and crusty, hard, <laughs> uh, you know, accurate drawings that are devoid of feeling. Certainly not. But it's an excellent tool to have in your toolbox. This, uh, this fact that you, you're able to replicate nature, right? It makes you better equipped to be expressive later in your drawings. Okay, so there you go. And so that's how we build it, right? Very simply put. Okay, and then from here, the straight line, you can begin to more readily carve out. So this, this in itself is a smaller envelope, isn't it? So the cow, the entire contour of the cow represents the broom or the large mass. And then we move to the smaller shapes, right? Heading towards the needle. Start with the broom, finish with the needle. By having this mass right here, it's much easier to measure height versus width, the character of these pitches, you know? Like this one I can see is inaccurate, so you just fix it at this stage. And these can be light lines. These don't have to be as dark as I'm making them. I'm making this dark for the, for the video, really, for the sake of uh, seeing it on the video. But within the confines of my envelope, I can, again, just like I did with the cow, begin to carve out these little negative shapes right here. See it? That little negative shape here, and then there's Another one right here, boop. It's like a little concave kind of shape. And it has a little brother right here. It's almost like a camel's back, right? Start with the big, work to the small. Start with the broom, finish with the needle. Start with the dog, finish with the flea. Just to summarize, the envelope is simply a number of diagonal lines, mostly diagonal, can sometimes be vertical or horizontal, but their purpose is to find the outside contour outermost lines 
in order to put the subject in an envelope, thereby making it easier for you to see and draw the thing you are trying to draw more accurately. Of course, also using the grid, um, diagrammatic lines and negative shapes are all helpful tools and assisting you to have more accurate drawings. Hope that helps everybody. Thank you so much.